So hey guys, Shane here, and I'm here with BuildTech with... Kayla! Welcome, Hi, hello. Thank you. Hi! So I want to talk about, you know, what's BuildTech's new deal going on right now? You know, what's going on? You know, everyone knows the actual BuildTech surface, but, right. you know, what's new going on? So the newest thing that we have is our new PEI surface. So we right. just released it a couple weeks ago. Here it is. It's brandy new. So the coolest part about our new PEI sheet is that it comes with the no mess adhesive that we're known for. So when you put your PEI sheet down, you have the super easy install and the super easy removal. Yep. So it's the basic standard PEI that everyone's been using, everyone loves, just with our adhesive on it. Okay. Yeah. And now this is, you're selling it in just the sheets? We're just selling it in just Just like you do BuildTech. Yeah. So same exact system as BuildTech. You can buy it in 1, 5, 10, 25, exact same thing. The only thing is this does not come pre-packed in with our flex weight system. Our flex weight system is still only the build tech sheets. If you want the PEI, it'll have to be an additional add-on. All right. Well, since you said flex system, let's take a look at that. Yeah, let's do it. So, this is our flex weight system. It is the greatest gift to God, but I am also 100% biased, which of is fine. Of course. Yeah, but I also personally have no patience, so this really works well for me. So, All right. it's made of three components. You have the magnetic base, which has magnets embedded into the bottom, mm -hmm. has adhesive on the bottom, so all you have to do is peel off the liner and stick it down. It's considered a permanent upgrade, I know, but the okay. variability that it offers you makes Hold up for the, sheet. the variability that it offers makes up for the permanence. Okay. So, once this is adhered down, you have the flex plate. We prefer to add on our built tech surface. Whatever works for you, works for you. <laughs> I have right. people that call them and tell me they put hairspray on it. Whatever works, I don't care. So anyway, so you have the magnetic base, you have the flex plate, and you have the Biltec sheet. Once this is on, it snaps right on. Man, that's it. Super simple. It's not going to move. Yeah, it's that's... not going to shift. It's on there. The magnets really hold it down because the last thing that we want to happen is you're printing on this beautiful system. It shifts and then your print is messed up. You yeah, because a lot of people are doing DIY, you know, right now, and that's right. kind of the issue is that if they don't get the proper strength magnets, right. you're gonna have it fall off. Right. The other thing is, is the magnets are specifically temperature rated. The flex plate is specifically coated so that it's not going to rust. It's not going to warp. We actually had a fun day in the office testing out how much it would take to kink the sheet, the flex plate. It took someone in our office hulking out and touching end to end to bend it, and even when we put it back on the magnetic base, there was so much magnet power that it basically flattened out again. Wow. So, and this is the fun design on the bottom, yeah? Yes. So it's a fun design. It is not a heat sink. <laughs> it has no effect except for making it more beautiful. So please note that when you're purchasing it, there's no heating element in our flex weight system. It's just an add-on. It onto just it. adds right on to your yeah. current heated bed. Yeah. Okay. It adds on to both heated and cold beds. So okay. it works for both. You'll have maybe a one to two degree loss of heat and it'll take a little bit longer to heat up, but otherwise the performance is exactly the same. Yeah. We've been using it on our Raise 3D and our Robo for a while now. There is no performance issue. There is no heat issue. There's no nothing. It doesn't demagnetize the magnets over time. There's It works yeah. amazingly well. And, and you, you lose temperature anyways if you're using glass. So you're actually going to make up a little bit because it's metal. Right. It, yeah. You know, it's going to conduct yeah. heat and a little bit better. And it'll distribute the heat better as well depending on where your heating element is. So sometimes it works a lot better and makes the performance of your machine work better. Yeah. But the best part is, is the flex, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen, I've never used it, but I've seen so much about it. And uh, so we're using spring steel, yes? So we're using spring steel specially coated so it's not gonna as I said rust and all that yeah. stuff but yeah it's super easy to use and basically like for example we have a stacker guy here Jerry Laporte watching him flex it off it's just like the greatest thing ever so satisfying and it comes off clean and smooth and you don't yeah. have to worry about it you print something for 50 hours the last thing that you want to deal with is a cracking off as you're trying oh, to remove it yeah I know I've printed several day long prints and the last thing I always worry when I go to bed at night if I come up in the morning, is it still going to be on the print right. bed? You know. And my problem is the patience. I don't. I get so excited yeah. that I just end up ruining it. So this has saved me a lot of, a lot of time. And yeah, there's some patience for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, can you tell a little? Yeah. But yeah. I'm working on it. Patience is a virtue, right? Yes, absolutely. So uh, one other thing I want to talk to you about yeah. is that everyone talks about the build tax spatula. Yes. Now I've never used one, and I am not sold on it, yay or nay. I know. It's funny looking. I'm working on it. I'm so. On it. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, why, why, why? Why? Okay. Yeah, why? So we made the spatula originally because we made our surface and with everyone in this beautiful maker community, they were making their own removal tools. And with that, 
making a tool work for a purpose it's not intended, it was ruining a lot of surfaces. Yes, paint scrapers are not for removing prints. I am a firm believer in that. Razor blades? Yes, razor They're blades. my least favorite. <laughs> they also tend to be the ones that send people to the hospital the most. Yes, I've seen the pictures on YouTube and, and, and videos and the, stuff like that. The amount of times people are dragged up to the booth to tell me stories, it's just hilarious and traumatizing <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah. So what we did is we made the spatula that you are questionable about. So I'll tell you why it's amazing. So one of them is the angle. So instead of coming at your print at a degree because the tool is parallel, you have a perpendicular tool. So now you have a tool that actually gets at the bottom of your print without having to dig into it to get it. One, it's beautiful. Two, you've got a tapered blade. So now this acts like a wedge. So instead of you or me prying up the part with the blade that's not in the right angle. You just keep pushing. You just keep pushing. And it has a leading edge. So it'll get there and then wedge up for you, which makes your surface last longer. So you spend less money doing these things. And then the handle. The handle is for both handedness. For lefties and righties. Yes, both lefties and righties, yes. Yeah. So it can go all the way around and you're fine which is something that most tools don't have. Most tools are usually one-handed or the other, and for our customers, we try to make it as universally applicable as possible, but it just works, you know? And a lot of people call us back and say, you know, it's not sharp enough, what can you do about it? And we honestly can't make it any thinner because of liability issues, so what we say is what you do with it when you get it home is your opinion. If you want to grind it down, grind it down. I have a bunch of people here that have told me they grind it down and it works beautifully. Yeah. Whatever works for you. As I said, you do you, Yeah, and it's let the beauty of that. the maker community. Yeah, absolutely. You know, everyone tinkers with their printers, everyone can tinker with this. Whatever yeah. you need it to do, it can do. I sell it as is, but you know, I'm not there. I'm not looking. Do whatever you want. Understand. So yeah. So I will convert you. <laughs> All right. So let's talk. Uh, let's go back. So okay. let's talk price on the flex plate system. Yeah. Let's talk more. I want to talk like 300 by 300. CR tens are huge right now. Yeah. I mean, they are the hot thing on the market right now. They are. So They're I want to say. Deal. So for people out there that have a CR10 right. or an FT5 or any of those 300 by 300 variants, right. what are we looking at price wise? So you're looking at 140 dollars, which includes the magnetic base, the flex plate, and a sheet of built tack. One full sheet. One full sheet. Okay. Yeah. So that means that you'll get all those three things for 140, but we do have an educator's discount. So if you're a teacher, if you're a student, if you do anything relating to teaching children about 3D printing or are 3D printing as a student, you can get 20% off. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, yeah. we offer 20% off to those. All you have to do is provide proof that you are actually who you say you are. Okay, understandable. So we're yep. doing the best that we can. We do realize that it's possibly a little bit more pricey, but you're literally paying for these two things and that's a one-time cost. The only consumable thing is the print surface. Yeah, so uh, let me ask you real quick, can you get, so say I buy this, okay, yeah. but I wanna also do a PEI one. Yeah. Can I get just a sheet of the spring steel in you order can, to do it? You can get just a piece of the spring steel, all the sizes are online because we do want to encourage people to tinker around and have multiple surfaces and play with things. Yeah. The spring steel though, if you buy just the plate itself and not the flex plate system, it does not come with any surface. Correct. Yeah, because like I said you would buy, you'd use something your own. Well, we don't want to assume. Well. You know, with the flex plate systems people are like, oh, why don't you offer both? And we didn't want to assume what you wanted, but for our system we like our original one. So for the flex plates, it does not come with any surface. You pick what you want and add it into the cart separately. Okay. Yeah. So we're trying Fair really deal. hard to give you what you guys want and need and like in whatever variety you want it in. Yep. All right. So where can people? So tell me this. What is it that you do? Where can people find you? And what what is that you're spreading for the BuildTech brand? So. I do all of the trade shows. I do all of a lot of the customer development and business development, customer service. I don't do as much of anymore, but I'm still involved in it. And then I do a lot of the advertising. So you can find me, email me, kaylaatbuildtech.com. If you want to tweet at us, I will definitely see it. Um, I just started my own Twitter thing at BuildTechChick. If you want to do that, I don't really know how that works, but I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. Um, but also, any emails that come into info at BuildTech.com, I see. So if you want to reach out to me, just throw my name in there. I'm Kayla. I'll find you. Yeah. And then we had talked before a little bit about if people like want to make a comment on something. Yeah. You know, can they write into you guys and say, "Hey, what if you did this a little differently or something like that?" We take our customers' comments very seriously. If you write us in, you should not only get a response from us, but we definitely take what you say to heart. So if there is something that you guys want that we're not doing, let us know. That's how the PEI came about. Is everyone was like, "Now that there's more filaments, like what are you guys doing about it?" So we're currently in the works of a nylon possible surface specific 
a high temp one, and then a large format one. So those are the things that are in the mix, but we do it based on priority. So whatever you guys need, let us know, and the more that we hear about it, the more that it boosts to the top of our priority lists. Yeah, it totally, but it's great you guys are actually taken from the community and going on that, because I mean, like I said, PEI is a big thing right now, you know, and Build Tech has that, as we talked, that niche, yeah. you gotta have it just right, and I've been using it on one of my printers for a year and a half. Yeah. It's, it's been it's great, great. Yeah. you know. And the thing is, is for what we do in the community, we don't make printers. We make your lives easier. Our entire this, platform yeah. is to make 3D printing easier. So we work for you guys. You know, what you guys need, we're working really hard to make. We're not trying to make our printers function better. We're trying to make the printers function better. So, you know, whatever you guys need, let us know. And we're happy to try and figure it out for you. Yeah, it's fantastic. So it's uh, the website is to order from? www.buildtech.com. Excellent, and yeah. all the info will be down below if you guys want to check it out, including how to get in touch here, yeah. and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you very much for your time. Yeah, I appreciate perfect. it. You have a good one. You too.